what the heck happened to Checkrain and where is it? The first iOS 13 jailbreak utility. Hey, what's up YouTube, it's ICU. Today, I'm here to answer that and more, and I also wanted to use today's video to kind of dispel some misinformation that's floating around throughout the jailbreak community. This is an important one, and I'm going to make it as quick as possible. For the TLDR though, no, there's not an iOS 13 jailbreak yet as of watching this video. If you guys wanna be notified the very second instant a jailbreak drops, be sure to bookmark the first link down below in the description. It will either have this no or it'll change to a yes once it's available and the download links will be posted there. That basically is your one-stop shop for everything iOS 13 jailbreak related. So I've been receiving a lot of questions lately, really ever since the Checkrain Twitter account posted out this, an image of two devices, an iPod Touch and an iPhone with a Checkrain application on their springboards. So you can see here, both devices are in fact running iOS 13. We know that from the Find My icon. And yeah, I know you can fake that kind of stuff, but these guys are legit and definitely official. Remember they're founded by hacker Luca Tedesco, but Basically, since this image was posted, a lot of individuals have been wondering if the jailbreak is going to come now because we haven't heard anything. Guys, I wanna remind you that this endeavor creating Checkrain, a jailbreak based on the Checkmate exploit that will in theory be able to support any firmware moving forward into the future is a very, very complex task. Not only are they trying to target iOS 13, but also iOS 12. So Checkrain out of the box should include support for a wide array of devices, A11 and lower, everything that supports iOS 12 up to iOS 13. That is no easy task by any means whatsoever. They wanna make sure that they do a rock solid job and deliver something that's great from the very beginning, that's future proof, that can again work on future releases and be updated relatively easily. Because believe me, that's definitely in the forefront of their minds when they're developing this utility. They know obviously that this is a boot ROM exploit and that the jailbreak utility will need Need to be updated quickly ensuing the release of new firmwares to of course support them because the checkmate exploit will work on them on supported devices so this video's main point is to let you guys know that these guys are working diligently in the background on creating check rain nothing has happened they're not going anywhere and just because they tweeted out an image of the check rain application on device does not mean that they are in fact close to releasing i saw so many wild rumors going around suggesting wild theories ranging from it's going to be released in 24 hours all the way up to this is going to be an untethered jailbreak. Guys, I've discussed it so many times. This is a boot ROM based exploit, which will mean that it will be a tethered or possibly a semi-tethered jailbreak, meaning you will need your computer to actually boot up and run your jailbreak stuff, so to speak. This is not going to be an untethered jailbreak. Just because there's an app icon for the jailbreak does not mean that it's going to be an on-device jailbreak capable of exploiting the device's kernel. No, no, no. This is a boot ROM based jailbreak and it's more likely that this will either be a package manager or something to help you manage your jailbreak post jailbreak as we talked about in the last video. So some clarification there. These guys again are working in the background. We know that just from the couple of screenshots from a few of the developers in the check rain team showing just how many internal updates they've posted to their development GitHub project for this. Like I said, the Checkrain Twitter is silent for a reason. Really, they only need to post important updates and other than that, they're working on things in the background. I don't know how else I can say it other than just that, but I wanted to make this video addressing that and also talking about one very critical thing that there are actually fakes of the check rain jailbreak floating around. There are fake websites, fraudulent ones that seem to promise a jailbreak, but really all they're doing is just running through a JavaScript in your browser and pretending like it is exploiting your device, which obviously can't be done. I mean, check rain is going to be a boot ROM based jailbreak, only exploitable over USB. That's neither here nor there. And then they tell you, you have to download an application to actually get Cydia and your jailbreak functioning. I'm not going to show any of this just because it's so absurd. Basically what they're doing is click fraud. They're actually earning 
ad revenue, so to speak, from downloading these applications. The developers of the apps advertise with a third party platform that again is responsible for distributing those ads. So it's not necessarily their fault, it's those bad actors that are actually implementing those ads from that third party platform onto their fake and fraudulent jailbreak website. So if you guys see any videos right now or tutorials promoting an iOS 13 check rein jailbreak, just know that they're 100% fake. I don't want to give them any attention. Again, I don't want to highlight them. I don't want to show it whatsoever because I don't want to contribute to the misinformation that's going around right now. No, there's not a check rein jailbreak. There will be a check rein jailbreak. The developers are still working. Be sure to subscribe for full coverage. Hopefully this video helped clear that up. Remember, I'm here to keep you guys updated and in the loop. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.